gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls, Hot Butcher Edition. Oh, buddy. I'm Dan. I am Mike. Dan, well, you already told me, yeah. so let's get into it. Uh, so this beer is called their Gulf Coastal. Golfing look, flames look just at that label. Look at that label. Uh, this is a double That's India Pale Ale in collaboration with the Tampa Bay Brewing Company in his so, Mosaic Anchovy Buford Amarillo. Bonnet. Uh, hopped. That was so, wrong. Yeah. 8% ABV. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. What's on the bot? Okay. Well, it's. Uh, we can't tell on it's splotchy. On it's splashy, splotchy. But we're pretty sure it's fairly fresh. Yeah. So, uh, so Mike, where did we get this beer? Uh, this beer came courtesy of Hot Butcher themselves. Uh, they were kind enough to send us a giant box of new to us beers, which was fantastic. All the beers in there we hadn't had before, they were all fairly fresh within the last month i think so fairly certain this one is too <laughs> get uh, much of the anchovy hops <laughs> i didn't even know it was a hop um it was probably hbc 104267 dash asterisk uh oh there is some floaties down there, hot butcher style. Hashtag Pretty, proper glassware. Oh, hashtag proper glassware, always. Uh, dull orange, kind of pear juice looking beer. Man, I've got this. Oh, boy. That, that's a hot butcher stank. Oh, yeah, that is. Oh, my goodness. So this has a... a what do you know about the anchovy hop? It was HBC something. Probably. That's all I know, seriously. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying, like... That's a mower. Yeah, stanky, dirty fruit. Um, dirty citrus. You know, I do that, but when in, when I edit, I'll probably edit that sound out. Yeah, and we're just like standing here looking like idiots. Yeah, but there's a lawnmower going yeah. in the window. So it's... Uh, it's um, this this is that sweet kind of hot butcher malt presence. Yeah, and, and it's more subtle. It's a little bit subdued. Um, I'm hoping for big things on the palate. A juicy, a uh, little bit of bright berry in there. Yeah. That smells Just, good. It, it's got that uh, generic citrus kind of thing going on. Yeah. I really want to know but what more, that anchovy does. But it, it's bright. It's not like muddled or anything. It is. Just, it, it is bright, yeah. Right. But generic it. citrus. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Hot Butcher. Mm. Oh wow! Body's a bit thin for the ABV. Eight is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a little thin. Oh man, what is that? I'll it's tell you exactly what this says. Okay. Okay, so the spear's good, right? It, it it's is a, very it, good. It's a good hazy. I don't want to. Let's start this off mm -hmm. with a positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's not take anything away from the Buford Bonnet Company here, collabing with Hotcatcher. It's, it's like every citrus you can take, fresh squeeze it, and that's what this beer is. There's not really a big complexity for me, and quite frankly, for a hot butcher beer, it's kind of one note. Okay, I, I'm I'm a little different over here. I'm oh. getting some really nice pithy orange peel. Uh, some orange Kool-Aid. I get a bit of like Pez candy, like orange and strawberry Pez candy with some fresh orange in there and a nice leafy green bitterness to it. It's very good. <laughs> I really like this. Little, it's a little thin bodied for the ABV, but I'm not upset about it. Um, it's almost drinking like a Kool-Aid juice. Does sort of take over the palate a little bit though. Like, there's a kind of fresh mm -hmm. hop burn kind of thing going on. There is kind of a fresh hop burn to it. Like we said, all these are fairly fresh. Um, I'm okay with that little bit of greenness in there. I like this. This is really No, I, I enjoy the green. I'm just... Here's the thing. I'm When we review these hop butcher beers, I get nitpicky. <laughs> we, we've just had a lot of hop butchers, so we're going we're no, to no. nits. We have yeah, had no. no seriously. We've had yeah, a lot yeah. of hop. We have. Hop we've been very fortunate. Both, both uh, uh, given as a gift. Yep. Uh, which totally humbled for. Absolutely. And uh, we've gone out of our way 
to whenever it comes in the area, oh, it doesn't yeah, matter absolutely. if it's an hour away, hour and a half away, <laughs> we'll we go there. buy it. But Ooh. I guess if somebody's watching this for the first time and saying, is this a good hazy? This is probably one of the better hazies you've ever had. Yeah. But on the Hot Butcher tier list, which I'm getting nitpicky on, mm-hmm. I think it's a great hazy, but it's just not overly complex and doesn't provide some of the other things that those give to me. Again, I'm okay with that though. You like, need to separate. Everyone this. needs to be. Here's the thing because complex. I gotta think. A lot of times I get lost in my head in these reviews. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I, I just I overlook the fact that there are people who just Google Hot Butcher for the World and click videos. And whatever pops up, pops up. Well, it's the beer patrol that pops up. But yeah, yeah. carry on. <laughs> but they click on it. Oh, I've never heard of this hot butcher. I don't drink a lot of hazies. They click on it. Sure. And here I am slandering this beer. Mm. It, or, so it seems. But I'm not. It, it's a great freaking beer. Yeah. But just, you know, for the hot butcher folk that know the hot butcher, it's down on the tier list for me. Poof, I like this one. This is really good. You ever watch those videos on YouTube where they do the... The tier lists for different products and stuff. Um, like they do yeah, like the yeah. F tier all the way up to S tier. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. We, we should do that with Hot Butcher. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, that'd be a fun live stream. Oh, well, yeah, live stream. Yeah, that'd be pretty good, actually. But not that I'd go back through, look through all the Hot Butchers. Yeah, yeah, I'd take notes. Um, I'm still getting just fresh everything. I'll tell you what, this drinks like a... Uh, man, it drinks like a slightly lower ABV, softer pale ale. Just a pale ale. Kind of soda shoppy. Think so? Like orange soda? Yeah, okay. I'm more orange Kool Aid on this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tasty notes. Zesty orange. Juicy melon. Juicy melon, you say? And here's the fucking kicker Pleasant Dank. No. Oh. Why don't you take another sip of this beer? Okay. I'm going to do it. And as soon as I say this, I want to see if you can taste it. Okay. Ripe raspberry. It's trying to come up though. It's trying, but I'm gonna stop my brain. I'm gonna say okay. no. All right. Um, what do you rate this? There's one? a zest to it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like the the orange, the pithy, zesty. Yeah, absolutely. I get that. See, to me, I get like a little like black underground black market lime to it. <laughs> what what food markets are you going to? These back alley like shady dealings where I can only get my lives from the, from this underworld area of food markets. Like meanwhile, the rest of us are just going. Hey, we're out in the sunshine. The He's same, doing all these fresh produce. It, it's it's a stall next to the golden truffles. <laughs> Dan can only purchase his citrus from the. T- what do you what do you rate it? Um. I give it like a 4-2. Okay, I, I, I figured I was going to be a little high. I'm giving this a 4-4. Four, four. I, I okay. like this one a lot. I, I, I don't know what uh, Tampa Bay Brewing Company did to it, but it's good stuff. I like it a lot. Yeah, no, it's a it's a really good uh, really beer. good hot butcher. It's a little up and up, you know, front market kind of style beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Out there on front right. street. Uh, what do you guys think? You guys yeah. ever get any of those underground black market, black <laughs> zesty No lines? stickers on them. Can't tell you what state it came from. Like, I didn't even know they grew limes in Minnesota. Listen, this is nuts. Listen, I'm telling you. These are like deep in the Everglades, Florida. <laughs> I can tell. Like militia of limes. He's got a a refined, some would say, otherworldly type. It's one of the juiciest sometimes. limes I've ever had. Just putting that out there. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.